Over 300 trillion Shiba Inu tokens are gone, asterisk asterisk making this video a must watch. This amount represents more than half of Shiba Inu's total supply. But where have all these tokens gone? And why are some people changing their views on Shiba Inu after seeing this? Well, let me explain. In the world of cryptocurrency, one name stands out when it comes to Shiba Inu holdings, Binance. With a staggering reserve of nearly 70 trillion Shiba Inu tokens, Binance solidifies its position as the largest holder of Shiba Inu tokens. This revelation underscores the importance of Shiba Inu holders closely tracking Binance actions. Just today, something remarkable unfolded in the world of cryptocurrency. Binance, the behemoth exchange, made its Shiba Inu proof of reserves public, sending shockwaves through the community. But what's all the fuss about? What's the connection between proof of reserves and Coinbase? And why is Shiba Inu at the heart of it all? Stick around to uncover the answers and unravel the intrigue in this important update. As mentioned earlier, today, Binance unveiled their proof of reserves. Think of it as a financial checkup for cryptocurrency exchanges, similar to when you go to the doctor to ensure everything is working as it should. Exchanges like Binance periodically show their proof of reserves to demonstrate that they actually have all the cryptocurrencies their customers have deposited with them. But why is this checkup important? Imagine you're storing your valuable belongings in a friend's safe deposit box. You'd want to trust that your friend isn't secretly borrowing or lending out your stuff without your knowledge, right? Proof of reserves works the same way, ensuring that the exchange isn't playing fast and loose with your hard-earned cryptocurrencies. By providing proof of reserves, exchanges like Binance build trust with their users. It gives you confidence that your assets are where they're supposed to be and that the exchange is being transparent about its operations. In the wild west of cryptocurrency, a little transparency can go a long way in keeping your investments safe and secure. Today's proof of reserves from Binance unveiled a surprising fact, they're holding not just all of their customers' Shiba Inu funds, but a little extra on top. But why the buffer? Think of it like having extra cash on hand for a rainy day. Binance does this to ensure they always have enough Shiba Inu on hand to handle any sudden demands from their users. But it's not just about being prepared, by keeping a surplus, Binance can smooth out any bumps in the road caused by market ups and downs. This extra cushion helps them manage risks and keep things running smoothly, much like how a backup plan can make life less stressful. And why does this matter to you? Imagine you're trading or investing on Binance. Knowing they've got your back with this extra layer of protection can give you peace of mind. It means you're less likely to run into issues with your transactions or see wild price swings due to sudden shortages. In short, it's all about making sure your experience on Binance is as safe and stable as possible. While Binance's recent proof of reserves may have provided a reassuring glimpse into their operations, not all cryptocurrency exchanges are as forthcoming. Take Coinbase, for example, which notably lacks proof of reserves. This absence of transparency raises eyebrows and sparks concerns within the cryptocurrency community. Without proof of reserves, users are left in the dark about whether Coinbase truly holds all the cryptocurrencies it claims to. It's like keeping your money in a bank without knowing if the bank actually has enough cash on hand to cover everyone's deposits. This lack of transparency not only erodes trust but also exposes users to potential risks. In the world of cryptocurrency, where anonymity reigns and regulations are still catching up, transparency is key. Exchanges that can't provide proof of reserves leave users vulnerable to mismanagement, insolvency, or even outright fraud. It's a stark reminder that not all platforms are created equal in the wild west of crypto exchanges. As the crypto world buzzes with discussions about exchange transparency, another trend is quietly gaining momentum. Shiba Inu holders are steadily withdrawing their tokens from centralized exchanges. This movement reflects a growing sentiment within the crypto community, encapsulated by the phrase not your keys, not your crypto. But what does this phrase mean, and why does it matter? Imagine you have a key to a safe deposit box. As long as you hold that key, you have direct control over what's inside. The same principle applies to cryptocurrencies stored in wallets. When you hold the private keys to your crypto wallet, 
you have full ownership and control over your assets. However, when you leave your cryptocurrencies on centralized exchanges, you essentially hand over control to the exchange, trusting them to safeguard your assets. While this might seem convenient for trading, it also means you're at the mercy of the exchange's security measures and operational practices. The phrase not your keys, not your crypto serves as a reminder of the risks associated with centralized exchanges, especially those without proof of reserves, like Coinbase. From security breaches to regulatory issues, centralized exchanges can pose significant risks to users' funds. By withdrawing their tokens and taking control of their private keys, Shiba Inu holders are asserting their independence and safeguarding their investments against potential vulnerabilities. But this is just one of the reasons. There are others, such as the growing concern over centralized exchanges. In response, Shiba Inu has introduced an alternative, ShibaSwap, a decentralized exchange built specifically for Shiba Inu holders. This platform was launched over two years ago, but with the increasing spread of the phrase not your keys, not your crypto, it seems people are finally waking up. But why the shift towards decentralized exchanges? Decentralized exchanges offer Shiba Inu holders greater control and security over their assets. Unlike centralized exchanges, which act as intermediaries and custodians of users' funds, decentralized exchanges operate on blockchain technology, enabling peer-to-peer -peer trading without the need for a middleman. This means users retain full control of their private keys and are not reliant on a centralized entity to execute trades or safeguard their assets. However, despite the rising interest in decentralized exchanges, one significant hurdle keeps over 170 trillion Shiba Inu tokens on centralized exchanges, the issue of higher fees. Unlike centralized exchanges, where fees are typically lower, decentralized exchanges often impose higher transaction fees, especially for tokens like Shiba Inu that still operate on the Ethereum network. These higher fees can significantly impact token movement and exchange usage. For many users, the convenience and cost effectiveness of centralized exchanges outweigh the benefits of decentralized alternatives. After all, why pay more in fees when you can easily trade on a centralized exchange with lower costs? As a result, despite the promise of decentralization and increased control, many Shiba Inu holders continue to opt for centralized exchanges to avoid the burden of hefty fees. This highlights the importance of addressing fee concerns and improving the user experience on decentralized platforms to encourage greater adoption and token movement. In transitioning from the issue of high fees, let's not forget that the Shiba Inu dev team took action to address these concerns about five months ago. They launched Sherbarium as a Layer 2 scaling solution specifically designed for Shiba Inu. Sherbarium boasts lightning-fast transaction speeds and incredibly low fees, often just a fraction of a penny, offering significant advantages over the Ethereum network. Now, you might be wondering, if ShibaSwap is on Ethereum and Sherbarium is a separate network, how can they operate together? Well, the Shiba Inu team has been hard at work to resolve this issue. Their plan is to migrate ShibaSwap from the Ethereum network to the Sherbarium network before the next bull run. And considering that the next bull run is expected very soon, it means we'll have the opportunity to experience the entire ecosystem firsthand in the near future. This migration isn't just about convenience, it's about building a cohesive ecosystem for all related Shiba Inu tokens, including Shiba Inu, Bone, and Leash. Having the entire ecosystem on Sherbarium brings numerous benefits, including faster transactions, lower fees, and improved scalability, ultimately enhancing the overall user experience for Shiba Inu holders. With the migration to Sherbarium on the horizon, it's poised to catalyze a significant shift within the Shiba Inu community, encouraging more users to depart from centralized exchanges. As ShibaSwap transitions to the Sherbarium network, it provides a compelling reason for users to embrace decentralization and take control of their assets. Very soon, we might see the remaining 170 trillion tokens disappear from centralized exchanges. But the implications go beyond convenience. The migration to Sherbarium holds the potential to fuel a surge in token burning for Shiba Inu. 
As more users participate in decentralized exchanges on the Sherbarium network, remember that 70% of transaction fees will be converted to Shiba Inu and burned. This constant reduction in the token supply is eagerly anticipated by many in the Shiba Inu community, as it contributes to the scarcity of the token and its potential for value appreciation. But what is your opinion on this? Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're curious to learn more, be sure to click on one of the videos you see on the screen. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and leave a comment. This really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video with as many people as possible, let's get this news out there.